Hello everyone, it's Kevin, your Entrepreneur, and if you live where I live, you know that there are three places you are most likely to bring someone if you drive in Southern California. The Observatory, LAX, and Disneyland. And here's the thing, while Disney is more than perfectly happy to accommodate you if you want to drop someone off at the park, they are far less accommodating if you actually want to pick someone up from the park and wait there to do it. As you may have noticed, I have a little bit of a screenshot on the side that says your vehicle is not um, equipped to drive in Orange County. And this actually happened to me. And I was even using Uber's customer phone support where they finally just essentially recreated my account and um, yeah, or that. And with the exception of adding a plus at the end of the license plate, I was unable to accept passengers again. Uh, but here's what I didn't know. I didn't know that it actually wasn't a glitch in the system. It was actually deliberate because Disney and Uber have a deal that you cannot wait around Disneyland property to pick people up for rides. Now, I don't know who decided to initiate that. I'm assuming it was Disney because I always drop people off at the, you know, drop off area in the front on Harbor Boulevard. Um, that's where you drop people off. Unless they want to go to downtown Disney, then you drop them off in downtown Disney. But I would used to always kind of hang for a minute or two because there's always someone waiting for a ride to leave. And normally, a few seconds later, they'd call and they'd get in the car and we'd be on our way. Well, Disney has put an end to that as far as Uber is concerned. If you hang out in, the, in that drop-off area, you will not be able to receive rides because your car will be considered in a different county and you are not registered to drive there. So what you basically have to do is you have to turn off the app or you just have to leave. If you don't turn off the app, you will just simply not get any rides. You have to leave the Disney property and then you will start getting rides. Or if you turn the app off and then on, it will register you in another city that you are not approved to drive in and you'll have to turn the app off, leave the park and then turn it back on. Now, some of you might ask, does this restriction work with Lyft? And I have to say, it does not appear to affect Lyft at all. I am able to be online with Lyft. I, I don't know why. Maybe it's because Disney actually has a deal with Lyft in Florida, where Lyft is essentially the um, Disney-approved ride-sharing service to get people from their hotels to Disney World. I, I don't know. But... I'm making this short video as kind of like a little bit of an advice thing. If you take some to Disneyland, that's great. It's you will probably get tipped because Disneyland people are good tippers unless they're annual pass holders. If they're an annual pass holder, frankly, they, they can suck it. They suck so much. Annual pass holders suck so much because I think they go there so often they actually forget what it's like to have fun at Disney and they think they're all important or something like that. I don't know. Like, I used to work for Disney and uh, annual pass holders were always the worst, way worse than any foreign tourists. But anyway, but yeah, so they will be, usually the passion will be nice. You can drop them off. You can listen to your Disney music while you're dropping them off. They'll usually appreciate that. But when you get to the property after you've dropped, after you've ended the trip, get off the property as soon as possible or else you won't get a ride until you're off the property. And, and that's pretty much all I have to say about that. Um, how about you guys? Any of you kind of have to find this out the hard way? Did you ever call customer support and figure out what was going on and couldn't figure out? Well, that, that's what it is. And I'd love to hear your story. Comment below. Like, favorite, share, subscribe. If you enjoyed the videos, make, consider becoming a Patreon member for as little as a dollar a month or $5 to get you access to exclusive videos. And as always, flame responsibly. Have a good one.